Hey, what's up guys? Eric here, EM Motors and Launch Vans. Just uh, finished up, uh, or almost finished up with this build here. So uh, we like to do our shakedown. Uh, up some washboard road up here to the, to the foothills and take some pictures and a video. But uh, anyway, this is a 2020 170, regular length, four wheel drive. It's pebble gray. Um, it's nicely loaded from the factory, like we like, LED headlights, power sliding door, you know, the 10 inch touch screen, all the goodies. But uh, this customer wanted the CA tuned uh, off-road hammerhead bumper, LP6s. Um, in the front there, up top we have the Baja Design, uh, what is it, the Onyx 6, 40 inch light bar. That's pretty sweet and bright at night. Um, you can see the little wee boost back there in the corner. But uh, also these guys wanted, um, well, we kind of do it as a must once uh, we do the build out, but uh, some 4.3 Falcons, fully adjustable in the front and rear. Just make this thing ride super smooth up the washboard. Get an angle from this side here. Uh, we you we love using uh, the uh, uh, flatline low pro roof racks um, It's easy to, to work around the fans and AC units and everything on the roof um, And then this is a Fiamma F80 S awning that we have 13 footer We have the black Rhino uh, Arsenal wheels wrapped in the BF Goodrich KO2 tires have some Laverne steps to assist you getting in and out. Got some uh, lighting underneath here under the awning. CR, Lor or CR Lawrence uh, 10 by 33 awning windows in the backs. This was a crew from the factory. They wanted to keep the factory crew glass um, in the side uh, side windows. Have a flatline van company uh, rear ladder on the passenger side. Factory hitch there with their step. And then on this side here, you can see we have uh, the Wii Boost up top. Shore power 30 amp plug there. And then some uh, solar port for some auxiliary uh, solar that they wanted. And again, the 4.3. Uh, stage 4-3 Falcons with the mini leaf pack. Van uh, rides like a dream afterwards. So let's open this thing up here. Might as well start with the back here. Um, so we got uh, we got some nice storage bags, screens uh, in the back and the front. So you can have all the doors open and keep the bugs out. And then they are magnetic entry. So really easy and quick to get in and out. And then they do um, roll up and are secured in the top or you can completely zip out the screen portion um, and put them, put them you know, in the garage if uh, it's not that the bug season. But uh, they do give a little privacy too, you know. But uh, anyway, we did uh, some load lights in the upper cavities here. So loading gear at night, uh, those will work good. And then we did, let's see here, we got all the switches here. Um, we also have your garage lights inside here. Plenty of outlets we like to, to do. Uh, so some 110 outlets here, uh, 12 volt and USB. And then on this side is our water box. Uh, so we have, uh, what is it, 22 gallons of fresh water plus uh, four gallon uh, isotemp uh, water heater. So we like that, works really good. Um, water fill, your mixer valve, and then a uh, little quick connect uh, with the hose. Let's see here, the hose is here for the shower. So, um, magnetic here these shades 
Okay, so anyway, these uh, magnetic shades here with the, uh, the coiled hose works really good. You can take a shower, um, rinse your gear off, your bike uh, works out really good um, in the vans. But yeah, we put L-Track in the floor here, so it's recessed. You can uh, mount some uh, have, uh, some Rocky mounts uh, to mount your beds, or you saw your bikes under the bed. And then, uh, yeah, you can do a, you know, shucks and uh, slide out tray on one side or, you know, one of their larger ones that fits in between the boxes. But uh, anyway, looks good. Three panel removable bed, uh, bamboo lids on the top of the boxes. And, uh, yeah, let's just hop in here. And this one here. So we uh, like to stick with Victron. You can download their Victron Connect app and kind of see uh, what everything's doing. We have the Orion for alternator charging, the 130 for uh, the solar that's coming in. I think we have a 380 watt panel on the on the top and then the link shunt and uh, distributor. And then uh, we like our uh, Battleborn batteries. <clears throat> we have 400 amp hours of them. And then shut offs, fuses, things like that up here. The Multi Plus 3000 is mounted on the side there. Um, and then on, again on this side, water level indicator carbon monoxide detector and uh, just your water system some L-Track on the side so works good there but uh, so this is the 170 like I mentioned so a lot more room in, in this versus the 144 so we do have a bed panel removed you can easily stack them and strap them down uh, if you want to to kind of open up a little bit more space um, otherwise, you know, they clear the galley on this side, have the Robotti sink with the strainer. And then on this side, we have the induction cooktop, have our water heater, heater and galley, uh, outlets and some drawers. We boost on and off here. Got it tucked away in the cabinet. Lots of drawer space. You never have enough of that. And then trash can. Just put a trash bag over this. And then on this side we uh, have the uh, toilet. So this thing just slides out. And you have the uh, Dry flush Laveo toilet. Super, super nice, super easy to use. No mess to clean up. Yeah, works out. Works out great. Laveo dry flush. That's what we recommend. So that tucks away nicely there. So uh, let's see here. What do we have here? We have our control panel. We have the Color Control GX, so that's just monitoring what we have coming in. We see uh, 327 watts of solar right now. The inverter's off. We don't have any AC loads on. And uh, anyway, you can turn your inverter on and off here. Uh, you can check out uh, what the shunt uh, is doing. Again, you can access all this from the Victron app uh, from your phone too. Um, and then Max Fan Remote. Got our Explorer Outfitter uh, covers over the Max fan. We have uh, Nomadic's 12 volt air conditioning here, keeping it nice and cool. Um, lots of L-Track here that are gonna potentially add more, uh, more bags or cabinets. They wanted to go with the mule bags from Adventure Wagon. So those work out good. Uh, let's see here. Got this little uh, spice cabinet, the little WeBoost antenna hidden there. Works out great. And then they did want to keep the crew seat um, from the factory. Again, Explore Outfitter shades. 
look really good. Got the rest of them up there. And another RV components screen for this door. Um, lagoon table mount here. We have swivels and we have our S-bar heater down there. Let me open this. It's got that power sliding door, which is pretty, pretty sweet. I'll give you a look from the outside here. More outlets here, 12 volt and 110 outlets. Plug in uh, whatever you may need. They are going to do a, uh, they have their own fridge that will tuck behind uh, the seats here. There's their little plug in. We'll end up putting some pucks to kind of strap it down. Oh yeah, I forgot we do have our outlets on these galleys. So again, plenty of, uh, plenty of uh, plug ins. Uh, all over the place because you can almost never have enough of those. But yeah, the van turned out awesome. We're really digging it. Did the side leather, uh, they wanted to do the side leather product, so we did a little lighter shade on the, on the top. Walls are a little darker. Turned out really well. And then the floor is the lawn seal. Um, Lawn Ridge, I believe it is. Fire extinguisher from Element. Check those guys out, those are awesome. And then the overhead shelf is Shuxon. And you get your uh, L-Track here so you can hang hang hooks, strap other, other gear down up top there. 360 degree camera, all the goodies from Mercedes. Astronic. Power heated memory seats, power sliding door. Anyway, uh, let's see here, what else we got? Let's give you a look at the roof real quick. Let's get on that back door. Again, we have the nomadic cooling. This is the 2000 model. I think 75 amp compressor. Max fan deluxe. And then we have the uh, huge 380 watt panel. Works great, so we like using it when it's available. And then Flatline's roof rack. You know, you can obviously uh, add some decking kind of uh, uh, in between these two areas if you wanted to, but Really easy to work with their rack here. All right, well, let me know what you guys think. Feel like it turned out pretty awesome. I was gonna show you suspension, but I already did. Give it another, another little look here. Turned out awesome. And as always, we try to try to go for a mountain bike ride here. Afterwards, drop right in right here. We love it. It's downtown Boise. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, hit me up if you have any questions. Our website is, well, we have a couple websites. The dealership is emmotorsboise.com. The uh, build website is launchvans.com. And then our YouTube channel and Instagram and Facebook is EM Motors Boise. So check us out, follow us, check out what we got going on. And if you want a van, four wheel drive van uh, built out, or just want one of our hit the ground running packages to get you going real quick, give us a shout. Appreciate you taking the time. Have a good one.